you picked a good video to watch because today we beautifully used a charm build in unexpected ways. Combined with high damage and a flute to love, there is nothing stopping our unlimited power. If you want to see more on how this type of stuff is achieved, then make sure you subscribe for more. Enjoy the video. And we are continuing on towards the Enchanted Swamp from earlier of our last run because that's right, in our backpack we have an item that says take it to the Enchanted Swamp. She'll trust someone who is carrying this. I have no idea who we're supposed to be trusting, who is saying what or what it is that we are really like kind of hoping for. But there's someone waiting for us here in the Enchanted Swamp and we are determined to find out. And honestly, have we ever been here before? We are going to use the battle ring. We have five damage now for this. We are beautiful. We have a rough buckler. They're going to be doing 13 damage, 23 damage. Can I get 22 defense? That's right. I tell you what, Bops, this guy right here, he's got all the defense. Tell you what, right here, look at him. He's got his float and everything. He's got all the charm. He's got the charm of like a baseball man here. I tell you what, look at his smile. He's going to go from ear to ear. You know, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what this episode is already starting off with. I'm just already just, you know, the last episode, you know, I ended it because the run was already getting kind of long. It's getting to like 25 minutes for the recording. And you know, I'm sitting there thinking like, I can probably, I can probably make this into like a two episode thing. Now that, now if that's not me being a YouTuber, then I don't know what is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the helmet up in the top because now we have three block. That is extra three block. Now we can do 11 block per turn. That's a lot of block. That's a lot of damage. You expect me to put the meme in there right there in my editing, didn't you? Nope. You're expecting it. It's because you're expecting it that you have to do the unexpected by not ins poison to a weapon hello yes let's add a little bit of poison to the hammer so now it actually does even more damage basically just builds up even more uh we do want a sage toad and salamander or do we want to go up against a newt a boastful spell swordsman and a gremlin i don't want no gremlin i'm gonna go to the sage toad and the salamander you're not a salamander oh no that's right <laughs> you're the sage toad a salamander I guess. I mean, all right, it's, it's all right. I mean, on a scale of like one to one, I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They got 14 block automatically per turn from all of this stuff that's in the inventory, which is fantastic. This boy, he's cowardly. Will flee if only he is the only survivor. So we can just go ahead and do like a free 16 damage. Technically 17 with the poison. Do with our hammer. Fantastic. Hit him with the shiv. Hit him with a little bit more. Honestly, I should have done the shiv first because it also gets us rage. Hit him with that little bit of a little bit of that guitar. Hit the hit the guitar. Now he has three charm on him, which is fantastic because now if we do three, four, actually we have four energy because of last episode we got this little baby of a relic humble offering. You cannot find rare legendary items in combat rewards, which is sad, but it's okay because we get one more energy. I don't know why I'm even trying to move my hands right now. You guys cannot see it. I will never put myself on camera. <laughs> I will never put my face on camera, at least. I put myself on camera a couple times, actually. I made one when I uh, made the how do you make YouTube videos video. So, hey, if you ever want to know how I make YouTube videos, at least, feel free to go check out the video on how to make YouTube videos. It's a great video. So you want to know how I make my YouTube content, how I make my daily videos. Well, there's a hard way and there's an easy way. It uh, teaches you all about how to make YouTube videos. So I'm going to go ahead and use a warm drink. And honestly, I want to kind of revisit the idea of the how to make YouTube videos video because I feel like I didn't make it as good of a video more focused on the idea of how to make a YouTube video, but it's more focused on how I make YouTube videos. And I don't think that's necessarily a great concept and how like I, I focus on the idea of how you guys can use free programs and how I do the editing and how stuff like that. So you guys can kind of do similar things. You can see how I'm doing it. So you could also do it too. However, I didn't make a good video on necessarily how to make a good YouTube video or on a video in general. I just more talked about the idea of how I make videos. So maybe next time I should probably make myself a dedicated video on how to make a good YouTube video or just a YouTube video in general for the people who want to make YouTube videos. So you can have a how-to video on how to make YouTube videos, you know? Ooh, you know, why don't we give ourselves a little Z action? We are going to have that one little weird kind of spot there, but that's all right because these sapphires, they float. That's right. Everybody floats down here, Jimmy. I don't, was it Jimmy? I don't know. Timmy, don't correct me if I'm wrong. Point is, is that these float. So you actually do not want to have any spaces above them or else it'll mess up my hammers and that's not good. We are done now. Fantastic. Get items. Anything good? A bramble? We're not in the bramble. We're in the enchanted swamp. Bramble was the floor below. But what does it say? Add 10 poison to all enemies? Add 3 poison to self? No thank you. Sapphire. Extra damage. Everything floats down here, Jimmy. Timmy. Uh, Bimmy. Fuck. 
<laughs> what's his name <laughs> i actually you know yeah now, now leave it in the comments down below what's his name <laughs> um we can probably make ourselves do even more damage here so if we do something along the lines of put the ring there and then move this humble offering out of the way then put a sapphire here because it floats it gets stuck right there so now it gets one more damage so now it's gonna be doing six damage per turn with our ring which is beautiful we have ourselves a large monostone hello we might be able to do a little bit more hello and that's gonna be like a nine damage <laughs> i'm sorry that i just did that unironically i don't know the fuck that is <laughs> uh you know maybe i'm just not gonna monetize this video what is this add five block when adjacent item is destroyed plus two block this combat cool well nothing's gonna be getting destroyed nearby however you are gonna be adding five block each turn how much am i gonna be getting per turn and we're done choosing by the way we're getting out of here we're moving on i don't know why you thought we're still hanging around this kind of dump joint 150 xp to level up again i don't think we're gonna level up again so i'm not gonna bother fighting these guys because we don't need the xp a sage toad a blue snow and a newt 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 <laughs> not the goo not the goo <laughs> god not not the goo not the goo oh i forgot about the goo no i gotta hate you goo slimes you slimes are bastards i hate you all good thing we have one extra energy you know i'm taking you out first slime all right you stupid stupid snail come back here no i'm taking you out I don't want anything to do with you. We're going to be using the flu. We're going to be using the guitar and then the flu and then the flu and then the flu. And we, you do, damn it. You're going to be doing more goo. No more goo. I don't want the goo. Damn it. We got the goo. <laughs> and we got the goo. Uh, the snail. Oh, I hate the snail. Okay. You know, the snail is now on our side. We no longer have to worry about the snail. And minus one to energy cost when you turn ends little hex i don't know man that seems pretty wild if you ask me yeah it's me man i'm gonna use the shit on you man i'm gonna have to use the flute man you, you're doing great man i'm gonna assassinate all of you in the back and i want your family to watch a honey guide a honey guide and a honey badger so power angry when attacked gets they get rage when they're attacked Oh, well, then I guess I'll just not attack them then, right? That seems fantastic. So I get free 20 block per turn. I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on the big old honey badger on the back because, oh, mama, you have a lot that you've got going on. So go ahead and get you on my side. Yep, beautiful. You're at 13. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit more charm just in case. And then I'm gonna start taking on one of these guys. Beautiful, fantastic, awesome, great. Bom, bada boom, bada bing. You know, ain't nothing about it. We got a little bit of honey on it. So that's, you know, it's not too bad. As long as it's not the goo. It's not the goo, right? It's sticky honey. I like honey it's very sugary and it is great i like honey but you know what? it's not goo and that's all that matters as long as it is not the goo that is all that is honestly you're good on my book so let's go ahead and just keep on using all of this use the shiv he's at 12 don't have any more energy i don't think i did i forgot to look at the last second doesn't matter because i don't think i would have had enough for that much and there we go beautiful awesome stab you on the back with a smile on my face while i do it the bird is a the, I didn't expect the bird to be this good. So what do you think is going to be the most powerful one in this team? If I had to guess, it would probably be the... Def no, he's a defender, right? So it's probably going to be the brigade. No, it's probably going to be the salamander in the back. Yeah, it's probably going to be the salamander in the back. I'm going to do... I'm going to take out this muskrat, I think, first. So I'm going to do Tinker's Hammer. And then I'm going to do the loot. Get some good charm on him. So now he's going to be four over. And at that point, I may as well just start trying to take out the defender because he has a low HP, but I bet he's going to be, yeah, he's a lot of defense. So he's going to be doing a lot of that. Do a little bit of damage. Use the ring. A little bit of the shiv. Beautiful. Bada bing, bada boom. He's going to be in my arms next turn. Don't you? Yeah, I'm basically just using the flute to make love to all these people. I, they just love me. I mean, not, not that I'm making them do, I just, they're, I'm making them fall in love with me. That's, I'm trying to day here is um right so i'm not even a big youtuber i'm already got allegations is that how it's gonna go <laughs> that, i swear i swear i didn't know what the flute was doing i just i just thought it'd be a really cool run idea i just thought i didn't know i didn't know i was I'm, i was ignorant i'm gonna have to make an apology video cool great doesn't matter okay take them all out in the back beautiful honestly this is a really nice character i like the way how he does things get items get money getting victories we can replace our monostone with another bigger monostone that's even more monostone that's like that's like double the monostone god there's so much mod on here you, you know how much, an unknown event 
Oh, I like the good times roll. Um, I don't really want to do anything, so I kind of hope I bust. So let's get on up to the top. No, I, come on, give me the, give me, give me the best. No, I, no, never mind. Just gives me a block. Add two poison self. Oh my god, I'm not gonna take that. That sounds horrible. The forge. Hang on a second. I forgot about the forge. Hey, we need to add on one rage to something. We need to add it on to one of the hammers. There we go. Beautiful. Now we have one more ability to add more damage to ourselves. And no, there is no question mark there. So the thing that we're looking for in our totem is probably in the very final area of this of this run. Let's see what's in store for us. Come on. Come on. Come on, Swamp Finale. Yo, you got something waiting for us anywhere? I mean, I took the totem here, right? We're in the right area. Oh, hello there. Speaker, am I... Toto, she'll trust someone who is carrying this. I mean, I guess. Should I try to just, like, charm you then and not kill you? I feel like that might be, like, a condition here. Uh, so we need to... We want to use the battle ring first. Okay. And we want to use the shiv. Use the other hammer. Use this hammer. Beautiful. Now we can go ahead and just start kind of looting away at her. She's not going to do any damage to start off with, which is, you know, good. Because she's doing so many enemies. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that is a lot. It's not like, oh my god. <laughs> Dear god. I'm gonna just, I don't know what the math comes out to, but I'm just gonna instinctively just double buckle her up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ring again, then use this same order, same order, keep on using that, and then loot myself on up. Beautiful, she has 35 loot ability on her, and her health is down to 141. I imagine as soon as I take care of her, the other gonna run along. Ooh, that is gonna be a lot of damage, huh? So why don't we go ahead and fix that problem? I will go ahead and use the ring. Use that. Use that. Wait, dodge? Are you dodging? You're dodging. We'll add two weak. What? How are you dodging? Stop dodging. You can't dodge. Against the rules. That's, that's against the rules. <laughs> you broke the rules. You can't dodge. <laughs> that's a, I've never seen anyone dodge. She's going to summon another enemy. There are four enemies. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, there are four enemies. Jesus. Um okay, it will add two dodge to all to all enemies. Oh, um uh no, first of all, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with uh Us and Das and Hammer. Um uh, wait a second, 10 damage. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Now she's down to 14. Beautiful. 10, 11, 10, 9. That's gonna be that's that's gonna be 30 damage. 30. That's that's a lot of math. And I tell you what, that's, that's, oh my God. So is she going to add dodge to me? She might add dodge to me, right? I mean, add, add dodge to all enemies. I mean, all to all enemies. I mean, oh, wait, am I an enemy? Hang on. Wait, what? I mean, I, yeah, I got dodge. I got dodge. She gave me dodge. Okay. Well, noted. If she tries to do dodge again, we'll add two weak. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit more charm on you just to hold off. Um, I need to defense up. They're going to be doing about like 30 damage again. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm out of ring. Just use the shiv, use the hammer, hit her with the other hammer. Beautiful. Use the flute. She is at 55. I think next turn we will probably win this. Yeah, I think next turn. Oh my God. There's so many enemies on, the, on this side. Oh my God. I almost kind of want to see how far this can go. Because if I let her go back, I don't know if they have room for it. But um, I, I think we got this. Hit the shiv. Yet yeah, now she is on our side. She's on our side now. And then everyone's going to be running away. I want to make sure that everything is good. Just take everyone out that she dodges. You know what? Fine. Fair. Fair. You know what? You managed to dodge. I'm going to just defense up just in case. Just in case. Just in case. I don't know what can happen. I don't want to accidentally die. Yep. And there they all go. Run away. Run away, little kittens. I have killed your queen, I suppose. Was am I supposed to be doing that? Is that what the totem is for? You haven't really told me what the totem is for yet. Uh, we don't really need any room for the monostone. Honestly, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, chest of valuables. Fantastic. What do we get out of it? We get ourselves a golden little feather. That is neat. That is, that is very admirable. Well, I'm going to leave the flute behind and just take the, oh, take the feather, I suppose. Uh, leave that behind. Take the flute, I suppose. Um, beautiful. And we're out of here. Is that the run? What was I supposed to do with the totem? What was the totem for? <laughs> I brought it to the enchanted first, did I not? My dude, you'll never believe where I just was. That's right. I totally made it to the center of the dungeon. I know my way now. If you need me in the deepest depths, I'll be there, my guy. We totally get into the center of this place. <laughs> so he, I was on on point with Satchel's voice. He's just like, oh, like, saw, dude. <laughs> so yeah, now he has, uh, all right, beautiful. And now he has his own runs. I'll have to unlock more runs for him for next time. Well, thank you, Digidees, for watching another beautiful episode of Backpack Hero. I hope you guys had fun with this episode. I, I definitely had fun with it. I don't know why. It was a little bit crazier than usual. But hey, you know, that's just the spirit of just, I don't know, having fun with it. Leave a comment down below on what you liked about the episode. 
I don't know, subscribe, like the video, all that fun stuff. And hey, by the way, we have a Discord. It's in the description. Check it out. Share the video around. Do all that fun stuff. I'm a small channel. Really just trying to get all them subscribers you can. You know, I really would appreciate it. So thank you, Digitees. I still don't know how to do any of these outros. But if there's one thing I can always guarantee you, is I will be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye. <coughs> Fuck, I need water. <laughs>